Welcome Water Signs and thank you for being here today. This is your weekend love message for weekends commencing Friday the 6th of August through to Sunday the 8th of August 2021. On the left hand side will be your crowning wisdom messages and in the middle pile and the right hand side um, we're going to be using two piles for your crowning wisdom messages. So let's go ahead um, Pisces and um, Pisces, Scorpio and Cancer and um, see what your overarching um, crowning message is for uh, this weekend. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you tell me your crowning messages to the question? How does these soulmates of Cancer, Scorpio and Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus feel towards them in love? Weekends commencing Friday the 6th of August through to Sunday the... Thank you. Oh, we have Tender Embrace. Oh, that's really beautiful. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you tell me your crowning message to the question, how does these soulmates of Cancer, Scorpio and Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus feel towards them in love? Weekends commencing Friday the 6th of August through to Sunday the 8th of August 2021. What? Thank you. And we have Earth Magic. Oh, very nice. All right. Okay. Water signs. Let's go ahead and pull your first crowning wisdom message. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you tell me your crowning message, crowning wisdom message, please, to the question, how does these soulmates of Cancer, Scorpio and Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus feel towards them in love? Weekends commencing Friday the 6th of August through to Sunday the 8th. Thank oh, okay. Well, they're giving me two cards and I'm being guided to take them. We've got the Star Mother and the Moonstone Star. Okay. And let's see if we can get one more card. From this pile, my angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you tell me your crowning wisdom message to the question, how does the soulmates of Cancer, Scorpio and Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus feel towards them in love? Weekends commencing Friday the 6th of August through to Sunday the 8th of August 2021. What is their current energy spiritually, emotionally, mentally and physically towards Cancer, Scorpio and Pisces that I'm allowed to see for their highest good and for the greater good of all. As above, so below and all around me. Thank you. My angels and spirit guide, thank you. I was just about to say, give me one more card. And we've got Matt. Uh, truth. Awesome. Absolutely awesome. Is that perfect? It's in view. All right. Okay. So water signs. Uh, let's take a little bit of a deep dive and see what your overarching crowning messages are telling us for this weekend. Okay. So water signs. For your crowning message, um, we have tender uh, embrace and we have uh, earth magic. So whatever your situation is, um, water signs i feel as if you are being guided to know that you are being embraced with a lot of love okay this is divine love this is um divine spirit universe coming in and just giving you a big old fat hug okay um i feel as if there's transformation coming around you certainly lots of blessings lots of stars coming in here with the earth magic i feel as if you've planted the seeds in a relationship or a situation um just know that it's in safe hands okay you may not see it manifesting um or coming into fruition just as yet but just know that it's in safe hands and i feel as if you're being guided that you are being shown universal love. Um, if you are in a case, there's been a lot of uh, legal cases or arbitrary cases that have been coming up over the last 
few weeks. I feel that you're being guided to know that, um, I feel that I am being guided to tell you that you are loved, okay? Um, and I feel that if things are a little bit tough at the moment, a bit challenging, know that the seeds that you've planted with regards to that situation, a court case, something, some sort of dispute, um, it's in safe hands, okay? Also, this tender embrace does also um, bring in a message, um, water signs, that it's really important to apply some self-care, some compassion, some kindness to yourself, but also to those around you, okay? Interesting. Now, for your crowning uh, wisdom messages, which is even more powerful, um, I feel, um, we've got the star mother loved. The universal mother loves and supports me totally, absolutely. Wisdom coming in with the star mother to let you know that you are loved. You may be feeling a little bit lost, a little bit um, in limbo, Um with regards to a situation, it could be love, like I say, it could be a legal situation, it could be a work situation, health. You're being guided to love yourself, know that divine loves you and know that your um, the seeds that you've planted, your manifestations, your asks, your prayers, your intentions, um, they are in good hands. And while you're in this um, energy of feeling a little bit in limbo, uh, just know that, um, yeah, Mother Earth, I feel, is coming in and really giving you this really tender embrace right now. They've got you, all right? They're supp supporting you. You may not see it. For some of you, like uh, Pisces, the mystic in you, I feel as if you um, you will feel it intuitively. Um, Scorpios, um, the animal, um, I feel as if you may be ready to just sting with that tail, okay? Um, because you're feeling just a little bit lost. Know that Mother Earth is um, comforting you now, right now, trying to temper you, letting you know that what the seeds that you have planted apply self-love, apply compassion and kindness to the situation, try not to bite, try not to go out there and bite, okay, and the doula for cancer, uh, cancerians, the doula is all about um, that help, that support um, uh, of a, a woman that is giving birth, so somebody that accompanies the midwife, that's your energy right now, so you too, just like Pisces, I feel as if um, you're going to be feeling that nurturing, that hug, that that empathy, um, that kindness, that tender embrace, you will also feel it as well, I feel. Then we get things get a little bit heated up here with the moon star passion. I'm entering a portal of euphoric love. Um, I feel as though um, as you apply this tender embrace to the situation that you are in, trusting the earth magic that what your manifestations, your prayers, um, your intentions have been planted and they are in safe hands and they are gestate, gestating, okay? They are coming to fruition. It's just that you're not seeing it just yet. Uh, still apply love and kindness uh, to others, but also to yourself. With regards to love, I feel as if you are going to be in a euphoric state of pleasure okay uh this weekend some of you might actually get a little bit jiggy jiggy okay um those of you that are not you're going to be definitely connecting with your sacral chakra okay and um, the sacral chakra is all around your senses you may um get quite awoken um through your senses something i feel that you're passionate about okay on a love front i feel that you're going to feel um whoever is the object of your affection um you're going to feel that sense you're going to feel that um that real passion okay real love something that is very sensual yeah okay um but i feel that it's a lot more than that it's it's a kind of love that you kind of like it looks a little bit cheeky, a little bit kind of dangerous, but you can't help yourself but step into that portal. Bear in mind, water signs, we are entering the Lion's Gate portal on the 8th. So this may be a really um, 
potent time that you actually maybe even embrace um, the person of your um, affections um, in the spiritual realm, uh, stepping through that portal. And that's where you're going to feel that euphoric love. Uh, for those of you that is, this is outside of a love connection, um, that you're feeling a little bit lost, a little bit in limbo. Uh, I feel that, that whatever you are up against, um, this Lionsgate um, portal that's opening up on the 8th, I feel as if you are going to feel real passion um, to stand up, okay? Stand up and fight for what's right, okay? Um, but I also feel as if a new sense of passion is going to ignite particularly if you're feeling a little bit lost, a little bit in limbo. Maybe you've got some news, um, you know, uh, last week that just didn't bode very, very well. You're going to start feeling your way through this situation, um, uh, through your sacral chakra. You're almost going to take it to a spiritual level, okay, rather than operating on a 3D. And I would say that that would be the right way. And you know something, you're going to be operating in a place of truth, all right, with Mayat coming in here. And I feel that this moon star um, water signs is quite pertinent because as you feel your way through using your sacral chakra, you, you're like senses. So what you see, what you hear, what you speak, what you feel, what action you've got to take, it almost feels as if something is just going to ignite and you're going to find that passion within you to keep going forward, all right? And you know something, you're going to operate from a place of truth. I feel as if you're being guided to be fearless in a situation and just know that whatever it is you're going through, it's truth. You're trying to bring truth. Um, with... Um, Mm, it's Myatt, I think it is, or is it one of these cards? Hold on a minute. Let me think about this. Let me just think two seconds. Okay, it's Myatt. The truth of the matter is, is that there's a purpose um, that you're here to do. You're here to advocate truth, okay? It could be... Um, it feels as if you've got two assignments. There's a truth that you are being guided to walk with passion. Trust that Mother Earth has got you, okay? The Universal Mother is showering you with love, embracing you, hugging you, where you need advice, where you just need cradling right now. And I feel that that individual assignment is to do with the person that you are connecting with i feel that the truth of the matter is that you know that there is a, a connection all right um and i feel that you're being guided to fearlessly walk forward in that truth okay fight for what you want the second assignment i feel is something that's more on a collective so if you are um in some sort of situation where you are a voice for a community, um, for a legal case, for a for your family, um, around your health or um, something that's going on in your environment that's affecting your health, um, you are going to be speaking in truth and you're being guided to walk fearlessly, all right? Walk fearlessly because fear, fearlessly because what you are doing is for the greater good of all. Okay. Wow. Okay. Woo. All right. That was um, that was quite a strong message. A little bit long. So my apologies, water signs. But I can only go on um, what they're giving me at the time. So if this message is resonating for you, water signs, please go ahead and click that thumbs up button on the video. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. Um, it really does help um, to support the channel. Um, but it also, oh, excuse me, pushes out this video to other water signs that are looking for uh, a weekend read. Existing subscribers, welcome back. Um, I really hope that you get a useful message out of this week's reading. Thank you for all of your support, encouragement and donations. It is truly, truly appreciated. All right, water signs, let's do this. Let's get into your main love message. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please, can you tell me how does the soulmate of Cancer, Scorpio and Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus feel towards them in love? 
weekends commencing Friday the 6th of August through to Sunday the 8th of August 2021. What is their current energy spiritually, emotionally, mentally and physically towards Cancer, Scorpio and Pisces that I'm allowed to see for their highest good and for the greater good of all? As above, so below and all around me. Thank you. Right, let's focus on cancer. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you tell me how does the soulmates of cancer, sun, moon, rising and Venus feel towards them in love? We can, thank you. So we have the eight of swords. My angels and spirit guide, thank you. Okay, we've got a few cards for you, Cancer. We've got the King of Cups. Oh, we've got the Sun, beautiful. And we've got the Two of Wands, all right. And for our Scorpios, please, my angels and spirit guides of the Divine, thank you. Okay, we've got the Ten of Swords in reverse, positive sign. My angels and spirit guides of the di What was it? Do you remember I said to you, Scorpio, don't bite? Don't bite. You may be feeling a little bit like a little bit lost at the moment. Don't bite. Yeah. I Yeah. Use tender, a tender embrace kindness. And you know what? I feel that if you're going to bite, you're going to be biting out of fear. All right. That may be just for you or your person, your person, because uh, that would be technically on their side. But that was uh, maybe just a little side message for you, Scorpio. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please, can you tell me how does the uh, soulmates of Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus feel towards them in love? Weekends commencing Friday the 6th of August through to Sunday. Thank you. And we have the, okay, so we've got the Four of Cups. Oh, and we've got the Four of Wands. All right. And for Pisces, please, my angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you tell me how does the soulmates of Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus feel towards them? Thank you. Oh, okay. So we have got that's two cards. So we've got the Queen of Wands, the Ace of Pentacles beautiful and one more card please my angels and spirit guides of okay they're just giving me a message if this is a legal case Pisces in case I forget because you're going to be the last one um if you are in a legal case somebody um a, a feminine energy may approach you and try and settle out of court with you all right not for all of you but that was coming through my angels and spirit guides of the divine Please, can you tell me how does the soulmates of uh, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus feel towards them in love? Weekend commencing Friday the 6th of August through to Sunday the 8th of August 2021. What is their current energy spiritually, emotionally? That card wanted to... Hierophant, okay. And we've got the Hierophant. Okay, so uh, some agreement is going to come Come if this is a legal case. Anyway, let me, um, I am jumping ahead of myself. All right, um, Water Signs, um, if you want to go straight to your reading, check out the links down below. Click onto your respective um, Zodiac sign and it will take you straight to your reading. Right now, we're going to focus on Cancer. Okay, so Cancer, for you, we have the Eight of Swords, the King of Cups, the Sun, and we have the Two of Wands as a bonus card. So I feel whoever you are connecting are really in their mind at the moment, going through a bit of mental torture, over communication, either something they have said or they want to tell you something, okay? Um, and I feel as if they're really, really analysing it. I feel that this person is this king of cups, somebody, male or female, that's got a lot of love to you. And I feel that they want to come towards you with a cup of love, all right? And they're really analysing whether or not you're going to receive this love. Um, yeah, they're definitely at a crossroads. They've got a choice to make, and I feel they can't make up their choice. Look, they may, they may be deciding, do they text you this message that they've got this love for you or actually do they like travel to you um, and let you know that they've got this love to, um, uh, that you 
that they've got love for you, unconditional love, a message of love quite strongly. Uh, I feel as if Cancerians, I feel as if they are actually going to come forward and have a conversation about love. It could be a situation that you and this person, um, this person has been manifesting, really putting a lot of work into this connection. The seeds have definitely be, been um uh, planted and I feel that things haven't moved on and that's why they're feeling a little bit anxious a little bit antsy to kind of push things along they do feel a little bit in limbo but I feel that the two of you are going to get a bit jiggy jiggy with it because the truth of the matter is that you're absolutely elated that they have this love for you and that they're coming forward and I feel with that doula I feel as if you're going to be very protective over them a tender embrace with the two of wands I feel that you're going to go towards them so I feel that you are going to go to towards them with passion ones is passion you to you <laughs> cancerians the cancerians that i'm reading for ladies go and get yourself your bikini wax your legs wax your hair done get yourself pruned yeah that tender embrace a bit of self-care going on because you are going to get jiggy jiggy with your partner this weekend okay um for male cancerians well you know some of you may want to do a wax i don't know um but yeah um Pay some attention to yourself, get your, your beard trimmed or your face steamed and your hair, you know, your hair trimmed, your beard trimmed, get, you know, just, just feel good about yourself, Cancerians, because there is definitely some passion that you are going towards them. They are coming towards you with a lot of love. They are really analysing it. Um, don't quite know what to say, don't know how you're going to receive it, you're going to be absolutely elated and guess what, you're going towards them with a bit of passion. Could be dealing with the Leo or you could have Leo in your chart. I don't even know if I really want to even clarify, but let's just, let's go ahead. My angels and spirit guides, thank you. And let, look, this person is coming towards you with the Six of Cups. I feel as if um, either they are putting an X behind them or they're putting a previous situation um, around bad communication between the two of you, poor communication. Maybe this person didn't express how they felt about you in the past. They're trying to put that behind you. Um, I feel as if there's a bit of nostalgia. Uh, there could have been a bit of quiet time, a bit of silent treatment. Um, I feel that they're coming towards you because they do they miss you and I feel that they miss that intimacy they miss um that tender embrace okay they feel lost without you and um, that star mother um they are being cradled they are being guided they are being hugged by the universe divine spirit universe um to come forward all right and be truthful uh to be fearless and come towards you yeah express this passion Thank you. Oh, my days. And look at that. We've got the Ten of Cups. So this person um, sees you as a happiness. You, the, your, you are their wish fulfillment. I feel if you don't have children, they do want to have children with you. They see you as somebody um, that uh, uh, they want to build a future with, build a family with. And that may be part and parcel of what they're going to express. And I feel as if the doula that you are, you will just embrace it. You're going to love it. You're going to lap it up, uh, Cancerians. So, yeah, get some pruning done. Um, I'm going to honestly try and see if I can upload um, these messages um, when, when I, as soon as I've finished and not wait until tomorrow. Um, and just get it so that you can have time to like book in with the hairdressers and the salons and all of that stuff. Okay, so with the uh, two of um, swords here, yeah, this person, they've got a choice. Um, they, they, they are at a crossroads with regards to how to uh, communicate this love to you. Like I said here, they, they may be at um, a crossroads. Do they text it to you or they do, do they tell you face to face? OK, they are at a crossroads and the crossroads is what do they communicate? I feel as if they're going to be protecting that. Like they just show me the three of uh, swords here. So I feel as if um, this per person may have gone through um, some major heart break in the past there's something about you that they really love maybe you've been very healing to this person um so they're trying to put that heartache okay behind them but they are going to be protecting their heart i feel that like this person is not somebody that gives their love so freely and look at that on your side you want communication okay i almost feel as if you've been waiting for this like you've been waiting for this. It's almost been a, like a bit of a battle. 
at all. Um, maybe it, it's taken a while for this person to surrender to this connection. Um, you want this communication. I feel like you've wanted this communication for a long, long time. And that's why you're going to be absolutely elated when it comes in. Because it means that this person is surrendering to this connection with you. Let's continue. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you um, thank you. And then we have got, oh, look at that. We've got the Ten of Swords. So I feel as if there may have been some uh, regret over conversations or you may have been scared to commit to this person or you were kind of scared to like let this person know how much you loved them. OK, you wanted them to kind of tell you first. Um, but there could have been some sort of regret over communication. But uh, with that sun card here, I feel that you're going to be happy. I feel like this person wants to put it behind them. They don't quite know how to do it. Um, and I feel that they're going to come in on a very loving front, um, very tender, a very tender embrace. And I feel that you're being guided to equally uh, welcome them with love and compassion, which I feel that you will do already. With the High Priestess in reverse, I feel as if you have been manifesting, um, feeling out, okay, what is the best action to do to get over regret, get over um, poor communication around love. Uh, that coming in reverse, I feel that you you don't have to worry about that. It's like your wishes, your dreams, your aspirations are being answered and you're absolutely elated about that. Let's have a look at this bonus card of the two of cards. So as I say, I feel as if you are passionately going to go towards this person when they come towards you um, and get a little bit jiggy jiggy. Um, but yeah, um, that's so you're, you've been at a crossroads, okay? And I feel they were at a crossroads. Do they text you how they feel? Do they see you face to face? Uh, I feel that they're possibly going to come to you face to face, okay? And Or actually, they may text you because I feel that you are then going to face to face go to them, all right? Take a path that is going to go to them. Um, and then look, I feel that this person wants to give equally to this connection. So either they didn't, like I said, remember I said there may have been some sort of conversation, like this person didn't uh, tell you how they feel. Uh, you may have kept back how you felt because you wanted this person uh, <coughs> to surrender to this connection, not be so protective over their heart, to put the past behind them. Um, it was because they weren't given equally into this connection. I feel like they had some residual um, stuff to work through with an ex with heartache, with, um, you know, <clears throat> uh, an ex-person um, that they needed to really get out of their system. I feel like they're doing that, all right? And they want to give equally um, to this connection. That is the choice that they are making to give equally to this connection with you. Hence why they're going to come in with messages of love. And look at that. And all you want is you want communication. It's like you just want this person to tell you how they feel about you. And I feel that you've been waiting on it for a long while. Well, it's guess what? It's coming in. You're going to be absolutely um, elated with it. Um, this high priestess, your wishes, your dreams, your aspirations, your prayers have been answered. I feel as if it's this communication is going to clear up any kind of regret, misunderstanding, fear, okay? Um, because I feel that you want this person to surrender to this connection with you, and I feel that they will do. Let's have a look and see what your advice is. Thank you. And we, oh, look at that signs. Your past... Uh, loved ones are never far from you. Notice the signs they send you. So I feel that the signs and synchronicities, can we see that? Just about. I feel that the signs and synchronicities definitely coming in is just knowing that this unbalanced feeling, um, because this person wasn't expressing how they felt about you, I feel that Mother Earth is cradling you, has been cradling you and protecting you for a while. Um, and I feel that uh, Myat, uh, the alley of Myat is just saying, just be fearless in the truth that you know of how you feel. Feel your way through this. Um, embrace this person um, and just know that uh, your, your dreams and aspirations um, were in good hands. And I feel that for you, uh, Cancerians, I feel as if all the signs are leading you to a very enjoyable uh, weekend this weekend. So I'm going to leave that there for you. Um, 
uh, Cancerians. If this message resonates, please feel free to uh, click that subscription, uh, click the thumbs up on that uh, video, subscribe if you haven't done so. Until next time, I'm sending you loads and loads of love, peace and light. Let's move on to our Scorpios. All right, Scorpio. So for we, for you guys, we've got the Ten of Swords in reverse. We've got the Four of Cups and we've got the uh, Four of Wands. Now, um, if you um, have uh, fire in your chart, this is a, a side note, not going to be for all of you Scorpios. But if you do have um, fire in your chart, it might be worth looking at the fire videos um, and more to do, actually, uh, maybe look at your fire sign um, that's in your chart, but also look at the crowning message because the beginning card and the end card was a four and a four. And you've got a four and a four in your reading. All right. So um, if you do have fire in your chart or the person you're connecting to has fire in their chart, check out the fire reading. Whoever you are connecting with, with the ten of swords, I feel as if this person is putting behind regret over conversations, heartache, fear. OK, right way up. This person may have sent messages to you via um, WhatsApp. Uh, via phone, via some sort of social media. That was the means in which you two were communicating. I feel as if they have some regret on some sort of, or in the past, they had some regret over how they were communicating with you uh, via your mobile or their mobile dev devices. With that in reverse, I feel as if they are no longer, they've gone through some sort of healing, okay? Um, and I feel as if it was to do with love, all right. Um, however, these messages came to you, Scorpio, I feel as if it was to do with love. And with the Four of Cups, they offered you this love um, and actually uh, you turned it down. Yeah, you were just and they may have continued messaging you. All right. And you were just kind of like, actually, I'm just over it. I just don't want it. I just don't want this love. I'm just not accepting it. I feel as though this, I feel as though um, uh, Scorpios, guess what? I feel as if they've actually pulled back their communication. And you know something? That is what's pissing you off. That is where that animal is coming out. It's almost like you want to bite. And I feel that you're being guided not to bite. And I'll tell you why you want to bite, because all along, my beautiful Scorpios, you actually see this person as long-term commitment marriage. But do you know something? I don't know why you guys get so stush, right? But this person came very openly and offered you this cup of love and you turned it down. So I don't know whether or not they've stopped, they've stopped communicating with you, basically. Or if they are communicating, it's very, very little. And do you know something? It almost feels as if you miss them. You miss them. I feel as if uh, the truth of the matter is, is that you may have been planting seeds of the kind of person, the kind of love that you wanted. And guess what? This person was right under your nose. But for whatever reason, you didn't take that cup. I feel as if, particularly with this Lion's Gate that's happening on the 8th of August, I feel as if something is going to be illuminated to you. Yeah, some sort of truth is going to be illuminated to you that actually what you were manifesting for such a long time was literally right underneath your nose. So I feel that you're being guided. And that is why I feel that it's you that's feeling a little bit unbalanced now, because it's like you may feel that this person's pulled their energy away. I feel that you're being guided to know that you're being cradled. You are being hugged by uh, Mother Earth, by Universe, Divine Spirit Universe. And I feel that you are being guided to be compassionate with yourself. Don't bite. If this person does start picking up communication, please don't cut off your nose to spite your face and bite and do that stingy thing that you do with your tail. Don't do it, okay? Apply some tender embrace because you know what? At the bottom line, no matter the truth of the matter is, right, Scorpio, is you see this person as long-term commitment marriage material. So I don't know what you're playing at, all right? Um, but please don't cut off your nose to spite your face. Let's have a look and see what your clarifiers are. My angels and spirit guides. But, ooh, oh, oh, okay. All right. So this person, yes, I feel as if with this Queen of Cups, they expressed love to you. And guess what? Their back is towards you. Look, their back is towards you. 
they took away that cup of love. And I feel as if they do want a new beginning and they're coming, they may even come back round um, and offer that cup again, but they may uh, come and, and want to speak some sort of truth um, over heartache. They were actually quite heartbroken um, that you, you didn't accept that cup of love. I feel as if they're over it now or they're, they're not over you, but they have gone through, um, uh, they've gone through a healing process. All right. They've gone through a healing process and I almost feel as if they're going to want to come and, and talk. Uh, like why, like why did you actually reject that cup of love? Yeah. Uh, cause I feel as if they're not heartbroken. Do you know something? There, there's three cups here that are still standing uh mm, Scorpio did you have other people that were interested in you and you may have been keeping your options open that's why you didn't accept the cup from this person I feel as if you may uh have actually rejected them and that is why you're kind of thinking okay now that th now I'm ready for this person to be communicating back and forth they're not and you're a little bit mm, upset let's say all right. But I feel that for them, I feel that they have gotten over um, some sort of heartache um, over you rejecting this cup of love that they offered you. Wow. OK. With the king of pentacles, this is your energy. Yeah. You didn't offer this person anything solid. All right. Um, you Look at you. Both of you, your backs are to each other. This is why they want to come in and speak to you. And look at that in the world card. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This cycle is closed, um, Scorpios, this weekend. Uh, you guys have done your tater tays of being hurt, rejecting each other, uh, when actually, uh, Scorpio, what you see is long-term commitment, marriage material. This person's got love for you, all right? Unconditional love. I almost feel as if you've both been manifesting each other. The truth of the matter is, it almost feels like the two of you are supposed to be together. Uh, there's change coming in, all right? Change with regards to this long-term term commitment marriage material all right i almost feel as if divine intervention is coming in uh, to close out this cycle between the two of you uh, and one more card please oh thank you yeah look at that i feel that is um i feel that this i feel that you are putting down the burden putting down the burden of um you know i almost want to say saying one thing and doing another it's like you it's like that is that is, that's the scenario you guys could have been communicating back and forth evidently all right i feel as if they may have come out outright and said look i actually want to be with you um i want us to you know have something together and you basically said no but actually uh, it wasn't really how you were feeling so it almost feels as if the tete-a-tete or getting to know one of another, when it came down to the crunch, uh, it's like you recanted, you pulled back. And that is what really hurt this person. But I feel that they're getting over it. They also may have been feeling a lot in limbo. Uh, I feel as if, um, you know, that solid offer of long-term commitment, uh, marriage, you, you took it away or you didn't even let them know that you were even on that tip. You saw them in that way. That cycle is closing. There's change coming. And this burden, I feel that you're going to put it put it down once and for all. All right? Um, yeah, I feel as if this Lionsgate portal is going to be really, um, really important for you. It's like um, you're just going to... It's like it feels like you're going to take a leap of faith with this person. Tender embrace. Loving yourself by allowing... Uh, this person to love you because they've obviously got a lot of love for you and you are ready to settle down male or female with that king of pentacles your marriage material ready to settle down and look at that passion passion isn't confined to sexual energy life is meant to be felt don't hold back what did i what what was i just saying it was almost as if you were giving this person all the signs through this communication that you were kind of interested crunch came to crunch they offered this cup and you said no but that wasn't how you really felt and i feel that the advice that you're being guided is to feel that moonlight moonstone star okay 
feel that passion within you because I feel as if there's a lot of passion that you have for this person. OK, and I feel as if you're being guided to know it isn't just sexual chemistry. There's a lot more. And I said that I, I felt that with that world card. It almost feels as if divine is intervening here and you're being guided. Don't hold back. All right. Beautiful. Uh, Scorpios, I'm going to leave that down. Leave that one there for you. If it resonates, please feel free to click that thumbs up button on the video. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. Until next time, I'm sending you loads and loads of love, peace and light. Let's move on to our beautiful Pisces. OK, so Pisces. So for you, Pisces, we have the Queen of Wands, the Ace of Pentacles and the Hierophant. So I feel as if whoever you are connecting with, I feel as if they do want to take action towards you uh, to offer a solid offer. OK, um, <clears throat> or another way that I'm reading it, they see that you are coming towards them with a solid offer because you see them as marriage material. All right. Because I'm just noting there are two feminine energies here. It doesn't, I, I feel gender doesn't matter. Um, it also could mean that they are connecting with their divine feminine side, being really independent. Okay. Um, almost throwing caution to the wind. All right. I feel as if they want to take action, passionate action towards you with uh they want a new beginning they want to offer something solid um and i feel that you see this person as marriage material uh, it could be dealing with taurus or you could have taurus in your chart okay um mm, okay there's not much more i can say there let's um get your clarifiers uh you are the mystic of the um of this weekend's readings, uh, Pisces. So I don't know whether or not intuitively you're going to feel this person coming towards you because they're coming towards you with passion. All right. And they may be cut. Oh, look at that. The Ace of Cups. So I feel as if look at that. So now isn't this into this is what I love about tarot with the card face up. All right. There is an um, unconditional love between the two of you, but there's no, there's no disputing that. But I feel as if you gave them this cup of love and they may have either not taken any action to offer something solid. Now they want a new beginning. So now as the uh, ace is in reverse, they are coming towards you with a cup of love. Two hands, solid offer to you uh, with a cup of love because I feel as if they know and understand um, that there is unconditional love there, all right? So whatever it is, even though Ace of Cups technically, traditionally would mean that um, this person is not seen as unconditional love. I feel as if they have seen it. I feel as if they have manifested this connection, manifested somebody like you. It feels as if you were right there. Um, for some reason, they may have rejected that cup of love. I'm just feeling like I'm echoing myself. Um, Pisces. If you are connecting with the Scorpio, look at, check out the Scorpio reading because this feels very, very similar. Um, I feel as if this person, uh, and flip the scripts, obviously, but I feel like I'm doing the same reading. I feel as if you offered uh, a cup of uh, a love or, or you offered a cup of love to this person. They may have rejected it. That same cup, they're now coming to, towards you taking action towards you all right i feel as if they felt very um um what's the word uh what is it what's the word i'm looking for out in limbo so you may have pulled your energy back that may be why that's in reverse and i feel as if they've missed you um i feel that they have felt a little bit lost yeah they want to build a future with you. That's why they're coming in with this solid offer. OMG. You see this person as marriage material, long-term commitment, and they see you as that as well. I feel as if they feel that you've been divinely guided into their life. I feel that they are now recognising what they've been manifesting 
um, uh, praying for, seeking for, planting the seeds of what is it they look for in somebody, they found it, that in you. And I feel as if they do see that you have, um, that you are divinely guided into their life. Uh, they do want to build a future with you. With this devil card here, could be dealing with a Capricorn or you could have Capricorn in your chart. I feel as if this person feels as if they have a soul contract with you. But there might be something that was a bit toxic, okay? Um, it feels as if there is something... Do you know something? There may be something quite significant that um, that you're teaching each other that actually isn't quite brilliant. Uh, it, it almost feels as if um, you made a soul contract to literally teach each other about love, commitment, taking action, speaking your truth, that kind of thing. Maybe the two of you, um, oh God, maybe the two of you in this life, lifetime are just not meant to be single, but you both may be quite mature like mature individuals that actually you're supposed to be married. And it's like you both feel this, this bond that maybe others might feel is a bit toxic, but I feel that this bond uh, that you made a long, long time ago to actually push you both into long-term commitment, marriage, not be afraid to express love, give love, give a solid commitment. That might be something that you two triggered each other or made it a, a soul contract to trigger each other to look at, to address. Yeah, I feel that you want to clear something up with this person. The, I feel that this person may have rejected you at one point. Pisces, I feel that you want to clear that up, particularly as they're coming in with a solid offer. Yeah, you were really in your mind about it, really analysing, regretful over conversations. But you were watching this connection. You were watching this real closely. You may have even been spying on this person. And that may have been the toxic behaviour that you needed to clear out. So if you... Um, pulled back your love, pulled back your energy and not just not speaking to them, but actually you may have stopped spying on them, checking up on them. I feel as if that's what you need. That's what needed to happen. But I do feel that you are getting messages that you, there's something needs to be cleared up here. There needs to be some sort of truth spoken to. Yeah, because do you know what? This person made you very unbalanced um, and I feel very, very disappointed uh, with that five of cups. You were really, really hurt. This person, I feel, rejected you at one point and they're coming back with that same cup of love and, and they are offering it to you, all right? And I feel that you're being guided to treat this with kindness, with compassion, all right? The truth is, if the truth is coming out, look at that, look at the circle of that sun there. Oh yeah, they're just telling me the sun. That's the sun. So that means that it feels that this is victorious, a new beginning, abundant, prosperous, and look, the same sun is around Mayat. It's like the truth of the matter is, is that you both kind of want the same things, quite frankly. Recharge. Please slow down. It's not selfish to take time out to look after yourself. Okay, so that's that tender embrace. So whatever you are going through, uh, Pisces, um, within this connection, outside of this connection, I feel this weekend, just take some time out, recharge, uh, pamper yourself, look after yourself. I feel as if you've got good news coming in this weekend, a new beginning, something really, really solid. And I just feel that it's going to set you up for the week ahead in really good stead. All right. Um, connect with Divine Spirit Universe. If you're feeling a little bit out, out of sorts, a bit unbalanced, just know that they're hugging you. They're giving you a big hug and I'm sending you, Spirit and Truth uh, Tarot is sending you a big hug as well. All right. Recharge. Take it easy. Take a chill pill. Um, everything is going to balance itself out. There is a solid offer. Oh, if you, if there is some sort of, um, a legal case, okay, I feel, yeah, look, do you remember I said somebody is going to take action to try and settle out of court, they're going to try and pay you off, they're going to try and pay you off, you may be disappointed, a bit unbalanced, because you won't get to speak your truth, hmm, 
It might not be the right thing to take the offer, you know, Pisces. Because there's something that you need to clear up and it almost feels as if it needs to be a court of law. Anyway, that was a real side note for you, Pisces. I have no idea where that came from. Um, but I feel that you're going to be disappointed, feeling really unbalanced with whatever it is they're going to offer you. So I feel like, do you know what? You may need to just recharge, recuperate. Um, and if you've got to go down the route of legal proceedings, then do so. I feel that something needs to be heard in a court of law. You and this person or you and people need to be in front of somebody that can rule in your favour, their favour something you've got to speak so that you don't feel so unbalanced and so hurt and disappointed over what it is you're going through. So definitely this weekend recharge because possibly the week ahead is going to be a bit challenging for you. All right. I'm going to leave that there for you. If it resonates, please click that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. Until next time, water signs, I'm sending you loads and loads of love, peace and light. Take care. Bye bye.